Things that you say, where they make you feel alright And I catch a vibe any time that I look in your face Tell me why you look so fine, baby girl Hey friends, Miss JH Dolly here. So after the funeral, we decided to pack our bags for a much more needed relaxation. A getaway outside of Accra. Do you know, sometimes life can get you a bit too busy and we all need a break to recharge and relax. So that's exactly what we did. We decided to escape from the hustle and the bustle of Accra to a beautiful result to cool off. If you've reached this far of the Ghana vlog, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hi guys, so we just made it to Cape Coast. Oh, I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys for like a while. It's been like a roller coaster going on, been busy, and we just got back from you know BA for my grandma's funeral, which was a success. Just decided to you know get away for a day for a night to relax it's such it's a nice breeze like you guys i'm actually gonna you know show you guys the place i mean if you're ever in ghana don't hesitate to book this place okay even if it's for one night you need it <laughs> you do bedroom guys I love the high ceiling it's given it's given sorry let's go to the bathroom here be starting in a minute but I'm just giving you guys a view of the castle
So along the coast of West Africa has about 60 forts and castles, but Ghana alone has about 40 of them, three being castles. The first castle is the Elwina Castle, built by the Portuguese in the year 1482. The second is the Christian Bok Castle, built in Accra Osu by the Danes in the year 1661. And this is the Cape Coast Castle, the last and smallest castle built by the British. Just a continent, Africa, America, even the sea being the passageway. And it all started after Christopher Columbus claimed to have discovered the New World, the Americas, and then European owned plantations were set on those lands. Initially, those Europeans were using the natives of the land to work on those plantations, but then they were dying easily. So a priest by name Bartholomew de las Casas, he suggested that they come for the Africans. For the Africans were strong and they were far best themselves. So it was going to be easy to use such group of people to work on those plantations. So that ushered us into the slave trade, where Africans were captured along the coast of West Africa and sent to those plantations to work on them. Prisoners of wars were sold into slavery then. Debtors were sold into slavery then, but then most of these slaves captured were innocent. Their only crime was that they were Africans and then they were strong. So once slaves were captured, they had to journey on foot to present the Ghana then. Imagine walking from Nigeria, Togo, Benin, Cameroon to Ghana. Most of them died as a result of fatigue, and wild animals attacked most of them as well. But then those who survived the journey and were brought to Ghana were brought to the south in this region inside the village called Asun Manso. Asun Manso was a slave market. Over there, they have this river called the Ancestral River or the Slave River. Inside that river, the slaves were made to take their last and final bath. But once they were brought into this castle, there was no bath for them. At a certain month also, their hair was shaved to hide all forms of grey hairs because no company present then to buy slaves wanted to buy old people to work on their plantations. Shea butter was also applied onto their skin, but their skin to look much more younger and attractive once they were brought into the castle to be sold. Once that was done at a certain month so they continued the journey again on foot from a certain month to the castle. And once slaves were brought into this castle, the first place they were taken to is called the Palava Hall, which means to talk or to bargain. The Palava Hall was the market center inside this castle. Over there, they had nurses and doctors available to examine the slaves. After the examination was done, they categorized them into two, domestic slaves and commercial slaves. Commercial slaves were the slaves seen to be fit to go and work on the plantations, and domestic slaves were the ones seen to be weak. They were kept inside this castle to take care of the domestic activities over here. After the categorization was done, they had to sell them. So slaves were auctioned and sold out for goods such as gun, gunpowder, liquor, milk, fabrics, tobacco, drinks. 100 meters from this very dungeon, they had a female slave dungeon as well to accommodate the female slaves. Please, this ends the introduction. And we are now going to start with a walking tour to explore the Cape Coast Castle. We are going to start the tour from this very place, which is the male slave dungeon. So please let all move inside. Let's all be careful of our steps, but our floor is a bit sloopy and smooth, all right? Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, SPG, 
an all white congregation. So as they were moving in to worship, they could hear the screams and cries of the slaves. Everything going on down there. Yet they worshiped on top of them. The stools we see over there are for the traditional worshippers. Often there is a man here who is a priest. So when they come, they sit and talk to him, and he will do the communication to the God on their behalf. And the reeds we see over here are brought in by tourists like yourselves. They bring them here to show their respect to their ancestors and the slaves that were kept here, and to mourn those that died in here as well. They believe that it is eight. So before I start talking about this place, I'm going to offer these artificial lights, just a quick one, to give you a feel of how the dungeons work. Are we okay? Yes. So we're about to have our massage and um, so today we just got back from Cape Coast Castle I think we do have our dinner later on around 8 ish so we're just gonna get ready after this massage you know finish them on fight us if them they run them no feet catch up I know they form say I do right job talk on their form say they do like one you know get the time for the hate and the bad energy but my mind on my
I don't want pull no trigger. I just want me. What's up, I'm pissed. I don't want no wahala, no wahala, no wahala, no wahala. The way that you talk and the things that you say, where they make you feel alright. And I get your vibe and the time that I look in your face. Tell me why you look so fine, baby girl. I'm still in love. 